All right, so let's continue with our examples of related rates. Here we have a problem, a railroad track and a road cross at right angles. An observer stands on the road 70 meters south of the crossing and watches an eastbound train traveling at 60 meters per second. So let's just sketch up a little bit of uh, what this uh, function looks like or what this picture looks like. All right, so let's see. Um, what would you have going on here? So we have the railroad and the road. So I'm going to make this my road. And this one right here is the railroad. All right. And the observer stands here. This length is 70 meters. Okay. And it's important to note that this it's always 70 meters. And the train is going this way at 60 meters per second. Okay. And this, is, this distance here is always changing. Okay. So at some point, the train is going to be down here somewhere. And let's see what we want to find. At, at how many meters per second is the train moving away from the observer? So it's key here that we can mark this up and we have this blue line here is the distance that the train is away from the observer. And just it crosses at a right angle. I, need, I forgot to include this there. So this distance here, we will call that D of T. Okay? And this is always changing. The farther that the train gets, gets away, the longer this blue line is. And so what we need to do in this case is find d prime of t, okay, given some other information. And I'm going to call this function here r of t for uh, the, the distance of the train or on the, along the railroad. Okay. So we have a nice little equation. And I'm going to omit the, the, the of t just in the sense in the, for the sake of brevity. So we have a nice function 70 is equal to, whoops, it's not quite that simple as we want it, as we wish it to be. Uh, let's see, this is really uh, 70 squared plus r squared is equal to d squared. And again, we're keeping in mind that we have uh, r squared and uh, d squared here. d and r are both functions. So we take the derivative of both sides and we get 2r times r prime is equal to 2d times d prime. Uh, we can cancel out the twos and we're trying to find d prime. So we're going to isolate d prime. So we get r times r prime over d is equal to d prime okay some things that we do know for sure 60 meters per second here 60 meters per second let's do that a little bit better 60 meters per second right? what this is referring to is r prime so it tells us that r prime of t is always equal to 60 so we can update our equation a little bit more and we can say that 60 r over d is equal to d prime now what is the value of r and value of d and how can we find that out well notice here that it says four seconds after it passes over the intersection so at some time at some particular time So at uh, some particular moment in time, whoops, what am I doing here? Let's get this done right. So at some time, this would be the situation that we have. Here's the road. This horizontal length here is still the railroad. This is our observer here. This length is still 70. And this length is 60 times 4. Or 240 now why well because it says four seconds after it passes through the intersection and so 
we need to find d in this case. And d would be equal to the square root of 70 squared plus 240 squared. And so those are going to be some uh, relatively <coughs> excuse me, large numbers. But I think if we work out all of the math, or all of the arithmetic, we get that this is equal to 250. So now we can take the, all this information. We know that R is equal to 240. D is equal to 250. So D prime is equal to 60 times uh, R, which we said was 240, divided by 250. And cancel that. Cancel this. And that's 5. That's 12. Uh, 12 times 24 over 5. Is we have d prime then is equal to 57.6, and the unit here would be meters per second. So at that particular moment in time, we would have that the distance this here between the observer and where the train is is exactly equal to 57.6 meters per second. Thank you for watching. As always, ask for help if you need it, and have a wonderful day.